Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and today I'm going to give you an honest look at my Scentsy disaster. Now I'm pretty good at keeping an individual bin organized, but over the course of me becoming a consultant and the influx of bars, things have kind of gotten a little out of hand here. So my daughter and I are going to attempt a few stages of Scentsy bar organization. I'm going to be splitting this up into spring, summer, fall, winter. This is almost all the wax in the house, except for a few bars that are hiding in certain places. And we just want you all to know that we all struggle with organizing and corralling all of this wonderful Scentsy goodness so in a little bit, you're going to join us again where we have all the spring and summer bars laid out here. And then we'll show you how we came up with some creative storage solutions. And just know that the struggle is real and we all have it. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so here is my entire spring and summer wax stash. So we have generally organized it according to color. And I'm gonna show you how we come up with some solutions for organizing all of this and putting it back in certain places upstairs so that it is much more accessible and usable and I can tally what I have so that I do not overbuy or have things that are missing out of my collection. So here is all of the fall winter wax that ended up getting sorted and put in the basement. The two whitewashed bins that you see down there on the floor are actually overflow of spring summer where I have duplicates of scent. Over here, you can see that I have a passion for pine, balsam, and anything evergreen. The bottom row within the cabinet is almost all just fall, winter. Uh, there's a lot of sleigh all day. There's a lot of wassail wonderland. I don't need to order any more of that for a while. Over here, we've got a lot of fall. This particular box, which matches the melting basket box that I use every month for the video. This one's larger and it's filled with lots of Christmas scents. And up at the top, you can see that I still have some Bath & Body Works candles and even a few other types mixed in. I used to melt and burn, and then eventually we just quit burning all together. So those are sort of dinosaurs of the past, and I do use them to decorate. And once in a while, when I'm really feeling nostalgic, I will scoop some wax and melt it just because we've given up burning. But almost everything that is here is Scentsy Wax, and you will get a real tour of this when I do my switch out in August or early September and we talk fall winter. So we'll go back upstairs and finish the organizing and the workability of the spring and summer bars. All right, guys, so here is the final result after we sorted and schemed. This is my red china hutch. So everything that's on the right behind the closed doors is actually uh, some of my older china. And I love to use this to decorate and it's never a good time to take a picture of this or a video because the light in here is terrible morning noon and night so we're just gonna go down here and this ended up being the perfect solution for all of my spring and summer bars every single one of them fit in here even the ones that were in the overflow bin that i had filmed earlier so this is what we did <laughs> I will be fine tuning this a little bit more, but we basically went according to color. And so this particular one is pink rhubarb sugar. And the number of bars that this kind of container can hold was astonishing. So everything fits in here beautifully. And as I use some of these bars up, probably one of these bins will become my what I have been warming and I'll be marking that so it's easier to keep track of. So. This is everything that has to do with our storage video and there will be a part two probably next week where I take all of these bars out and I actually show you what scents I have. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is uh, nothing but baskets from Target and it was not terribly expensive. We just needed the right space. And the other thing that I was hoping to remind all of you is never put your bars in closed sealed containers they need to breathe and ideally they're supposed to be laid down on their back but when i do that i end up messing up all of my organization so i go through my bars quickly enough that this type of storage uh, is just so much better for me because i can see everything that i've got so i know that there have been people who have shared, thankfully, that when they put their bar collections into sealed tubs, 
that all of the scents started to mix and smell the same and I would hate for the kind of wax investment that a lot of us have to completely go bad. So again, uh, tune in sometime within the next week and I will give you a tour of all these bars and I hope that this has helped some of you. So sort your bars, come up with some sort of an inexpensive solution like this, stack them and uh, put them in a place where they'll be neat and tidy and you will be able to enjoy your wax stress-free. Have a good night. Bye-bye.